Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode 29 of Tropical Rouge Pretty Care. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. BTW, I am so sorry that this is several days late. Um, Saturday when I wanted to record this, I was extremely tired. Sunday, I really didn't feel like doing it. I was going to do it on Monday with Love Live, but we had a really bad storm on Monday, and gotta get it done today even though it's like Wednesday morning for me because it's 406 a.m. <laughs> no <laughs> yeah I don't know why, but the way, like, it, the format of what it looks like today, it looks very widescreen. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's just the way the format looks. Hmm. Because it's normally, like, a little bit thicker. I don't know. Maybe it has to be the file of what I've downloaded. Because, you know, normally they're able to show, like, almost Laura's whole body in the opening and such. And they only show it, like, half. But, so that's a little weird. pictures of her ever since last Saturday but oh she's so pretty and the fact that she's voiced by one of my other fave sayers oh my god like Poor thing, I almost choked on myself. But damn it, in the middle of the night? Mm-hmm. 
Oh, this is giving me hella mermaid melody vibes. You know, like when Kaito was eventually meeting Lucia in the aquarium. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then it's, all, it's literally almost time to get your final power-up item, which you're getting it today. Technically, you got it on Saturday, but you know, you're getting it today. Yeah, literally this whole episode just straight up feels like a movie because for some weird reason, like, the quality seems a lot better than last week's episode. I I'm guessing, I mean, because of the fact that, you know, the legendary and curious of us doing this episode are making her appearance, it makes the most sense. Seriously?
Uh huh. He was honestly really tired of E3, so he was like, screw it, I'm just going to go do it myself. Well, because the legendary pretty cure himself, right? <laughs> Could I do? Oh, well, Yeah, you lead them to the school. my baby.
<laughs> they really did that fucking Easter egg. The Ultraman. Yeah, they literally was like, yeah, you know the quality of this week's episode? We are going to put that up times a thousand. Like, oh my god. They didn't have to do that, but they were just like, yeah, we need to. Because <laughs> since it is time to get the final power up for these girls, it makes the most sense. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. Oh, that's giving gold princess pretty cure vibes. Stop. Oh, they look so pretty. No, oh, it's an elephant. Oh, my God. <laughs> Stop. Oh, my God.
my god. They was, once again, they was like, hey, how much you want in the budget this week? Yes. <laughs> Just yes to everything. There was no number of budget they wanted. They wanted everything in this episode. Now, see, something makes me wonder. Was the witch delays friends with the legendary pretty care? And she possibly had to be. Okay, I thought we were just going to like that. Which we know there is another phase because freaking Manitsu got to be the leader and then eventually Laura is going to be the leader with it. <laughs> Did you see me on his face? But really, this was a damn good episode. Like, straight up. It felt like... I mean, every episode of Pretty Cure in a Nutshell is a mini-movie, but I think personally with this episode... It really, truly felt like a movie, like a damn good movie, like straight up, even though it was only for 30 minutes. But, oh, I'm so happy they had their final power-up item. It's so beautiful. Like, oh my god, the girly figures and everything, the girliness. I love it so much. Like, ah, I want it so bad, but I I'm guessing it's like hella expensive. And if there's probably one thing that I could get for my birthday this year, aka next month on October 18th, um, I just want La Mer's transformation brooch thing. That's all that I want. And plus slash bubble shooter because that was the one thing that I was instantly attracted to. Plus, you know, you can see in the background there is Kudadun and Kudadun has been here for like a couple of months now. So that's one other thing. I would like want the keychains or like the figures, but it's so freaking hard to find, um where they're at like of course amazon japan has like everything but especially i go on not only amazon japan but i go on third party websites and stuff and sometimes 50 out of 50 when you go somewhere you can't find it anymore <laughs> but this was such a good episode i'm so proud of my girls like oh this was worth it to just try to get all my other stuff done just so i could watch this because oh this was so freaking good <laughs> seriously like damn I, I once again they did really good on the quality the budget and everything for today's episode i, I mean it kind of makes me wonder especially when we get to like the final battle necessarily for this series because we are very very close to being to the end of this um even though it, it still seems like somewhat far away but since we are officially on the fourth quarter getting ready to be on the fourth quarter and like the next week or two um of 2021 of course we're getting closer and closer to the end of this series unfortunately um so i'm really hoping that like i said once we get to the final battles of this show that the quality goes even higher and that the legendary pretty cure makes one more final appearance just because you know her say you is just amazing and the fact that they got her to voice the legendary it is really awesome. I really just would love to see one season where we have the legendary Pretty Cures or the legendary Guardians of something all in a series together and such. Just like voicing me like, what are they doing? What all the other girls are doing there? It's just Pretty Cures. I think that would be really nice. I mean, but when it comes to getting these big legendary seiyus to come voice a role that is like little to none yes of course as i said with um star twinkle uh and the situation on that they have to pay them say use like big big money 
even if they're going to be in there for like three to five seconds or even 10 seconds, they probably get a lot of money just to come in and say something just for like one to choose three moments of it in an episode and such. But yeah, I love, like I said, I love the dresser. It's cute. I want it so bad. But yes, this is such a good episode and I'm really excited to see what the heck is going to happen next, especially with the fact is Laura wants to be Student Council President. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 29 of Tropical Rouge Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys either on Saturday or Sunday for episode 30. Bye, guys.